Hello everyone, welcome to another QuickBooks Basics mini series. In today's video, I'm going to go over the Vendor Center. So let's get started. To access the Vendor Center, go to Get Paid and Pay, and then Vendors. And this will take us to the list of vendors that we have, including suppliers. Everybody that we pay um, money to will be in here. Telephone, everybody. QuickBooks Online doesn't distinguish between um, uh, like a contractor or um, a supplier or utility. Now there is a section um, where you can add contractors for 1099s, but I tend to use it all in here because this is where you can enter all the information fairly quickly. And there's a lot of things that you can do in here. Um, first of all, if you select the top box here, it will select all the vendors and then you can do batch transactions as make inactive. You can make all these selected vendors inactive or you can email. Um, when you clicked email, it will open your Outlook or any desktop mailing provider that you have. And um, so you can send out emails to all your um, vendors. And you can also um, do a quick search for a vendor. Um, so I can search quickly for just a specific vendor and it will take me directly to that vendor information. Um, if I click on this like arrow with the three lines, it opens up the list on the left hand side. Um, but let's go back to the vendor center. So at the top right corner, you could see here it says new vendor. Of course, that's where you can create a new vendor. And you can also create a 1099s. I believe if you have the plus, you will have this button um, where you can, you can also pay bills, order checks. And with the drop down arrow, you can import your vendors instead of adding them one at a time. And in my uh, first video, I showed how you can go and import your chart of accounts under the gear icon and then um, import data. And you can easily get a template that they provide and you can upload all your um, vendors through there. We also have this top bar at the top it's colorful as you could see which will let us know how many purchase orders we have if we click on it it will select just the vendors that have open purchase orders if we click on overdue it will show us um, vendors that have overdue invoices and open bills would be vendors with open bills and then vendors that that you paid in the last uh, 30 days um, will show up here on the green button. And to clear those filters, we just uh, click clear filter. Now this drop down arrow here to the right, if you click on it for just that specific, um, for that just specific vendor, you can create an expense, write a check, create a purchase order or make it inactive. So I can make Bob's Burger inactive. Right above these actions, you can print. You can print the list. So let's cancel that. See, this is how that looks. And if we go back, we can also export to Excel. And if we click on this gear icon, we can add the address columns on here. So we could see it, it was added here. We can also click on attachments. So any vendors that have attachments, and we'll take a look at that in a moment, will be um, will show here. Also, you can have the column for inactive vendors. So all inactive vendors will also come up. Okay, so you can also take everything away and it will only show you um, the vendor and your open balances. So when you click on a vendor, um, it will take you to this section uh, where you can put the vendor details and you can also um, do transaction list. Let's do, let's go over the transaction list first. Um, I like this transaction list. I actually use it a lot. Um, when you select, well, there's a couple of things. Let me go back for a second. So 
I'm at this vendor, let's say that Bob's Burger is really not for meals and entertainment, I can quickly change the account here and it's done. It's changed. So when I open the transaction, as you can see, the category was changed as well. I can also uh, select multiple transactions, batch transact, click on categorize selected, and then select the category I wanted to go and it changes it. So I really, really uh, like that feature. If I see that they've been um, miscategorized, classified incorrectly, I can go back and quickly change it. Um, I also have filter. So let's say I want um, just to show me expenses. Oh, I guess there's no cash expense. Let me try that again because that is an expense. Oh, I guess not. I guess they're probably credit cards. So I can say, um, will do. None of those are here. Let me clear. They're credit card expense, cash. These are expenses, which I'm not quite sure why they're not showing up. Um, okay, you can also have checks, but I also use the date. So let's say I wanna know quickly how much I paid a vendor, just real quick. I can put last year and um, it'll tell me the total. You can also print the transaction and you can print what you're looking at and you can also export through Excel. And here's the secure icon, just like the other one, you can actually add column fields um, to what you are viewing. Okay. And if we select uh, the vendor details, we can enter all the information. So like email, phone number, mobile number, fax, other, um, we can do the address, our terms. We can also attach. And what I do sometimes is I attach uh, important information for the vendor, like maybe their W9, I attach it, even though there is a section to enter there. Um, and the way I got in here was I just clicked edit. I clicked edit here. You can also click edit here and it brings you to the same page where you're entering all the information. Um, I, you could have, if you have account numbers for them, you can put the account numbers. Um, if it's a contractor, put their um, EIN number, social security. And then if they need to get a 1099 at the end of the year, I click track 1099. If I want this certain Bob's Burger joint to just be office expense, I can select it there. So when I'm entering an account, it will default to this, uh, to this account. I don't have to keep on typing it in. I can attach files here and um, I can drag, open, click and attach files. Like I say, I put like maybe supplier contracts, terms, um, special terms, uh, W9s, anything that I want to track for that specific uh, vendor, I put it there. I can also write notes. Um, and this will, I mean, you can put a lot of notes in here. Um, you can maybe um, put when you spoke to them, what if what issue, why you are not going to use them again, things like that. Um, you can put notes up here. You can make um, also this vendor inactive here. As so you can see, the notes that I typed in um, are shown up here in the top left corner. And when you are in this uh, vendor, you can also do a bill for this vendor, time activity, expense, a check, a purchase order, a vendor, or pay down a credit card when you're in this, uh, in the selected vendor. And if you go to the left column up here, this little plus sign, you can actually add a vendor fairly quickly. You can also sort by name. You can sort by open balance on the left hand corner of your vendor center. And let's see, and oh, here's an example of, you know, one that it's fairly filled in. There is no notes and there are no attachments, but this is what it will look like. If you go to transaction list, you can see the transactions, the bills and the bill payment. 
So this is the vendor center. Another thing um, that you can look at um, or you, where you can enter expenses is under bookkeeping and expenses. Now this is not the vendor center, but this is um, this is like where you can enter just transactions. It's a transactional list of everybody and everything. Um, you can um, do batch print. Oh. You can't do batch print here. I believe you can. No, you can't categorize only because I you can't you can't batch print or reclassify bill payments. So that's why when I selected that here, let's try this. Maybe we can filter transactions. Let's see expenses apply. We should. Yeah, now we can do categorize selected because all these can be categorized as well. And um, you can also do the same thing where you can come and, you know, change the account uh, fairly quickly as well. And this will let you print um, all these uh, vendors, I guess, um, information. You can print it. Whereas before I was only looking at the specific vendor, it wasn't different vendors. It was just that one specific uh, vendor with the transactions that I was able to print or export to um, Excel. I can add more columns if I like. Um, I can also do the same uh, transactions that I can in the vendor center, which is time activity, bill, expense, check, purchase orders, vendor, and pay down credit cards. And that's what I wanted to show you. I hope that this has helped you. Uh, please subscribe for more how-tos, tips, and tricks in troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you on the next one.